What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? You guys better right. The best way to train roundhouse kick and spinning kick. I'm a bit of an expert in this shit. I'm the best kicker on YouTube and best kicker in the world, probably. So I know what I'm talking about. I will be explaining what the best way is to train roundhouse kick and spinning kick for MMA, kickboxing, Muay Thai, any kind of striking. Karate, Taekwondo also counts as well. For any kind of striking, I'm gonna teach the best way to train both roundhouse kick and spinning kick. Okay, now first of all, spinning kick and roundhouse kick are actually the same kick backwards. You guys probably didn't know that shit, did you? Yes, it is. So if you throw a roundhouse kick, think about it. It's coming this way, going all the way around like this, back around, and how's the spinning kick go? Exactly in the opposite direction. If you guys uh, grab a movie or a, or a video and go backwards, you guys will see that. If you do a spinning kick backwards, it turns into a roundhouse kick. If you do a roundhouse kick backwards, it turns into a spinning kick. So, what will be the best way to train it then? If you think logically, it's kind of like weightlifting. One of the best ways to train chest is to combine chest with back because you're working in the opposite direction with, with both of your muscles. So, I'm gonna start first with the MMA one, okay? MMA, most of the time you wanna stand sideways, right? So, you don't wanna forget about your punches. So, here's the best way to train for MMA, either a high guard or a low guard, I'm gonna do both. Okay, I'm gonna do the first one with a high guard, and the first one's gonna be right now, skip right here. That's the first one, right? Right now, skip. Now, the second one I'm gonna throw from here. You guys can throw from here or here. Okay, jab from here, now watch. That was the spinning kick. So, if you guys watch carefully, I'll do it the other side. You go around house kick, and then wheel kick, it's the same damn kick the other way around. So you're working your muscles in both directions. Now I'm gonna do it the other way. Make sure you do both sides. Other side, sideways, MMA. I like throwing the jab from around here, guys, like Mayweather. Okay, so right here. Oh, you guys didn't expect a spin kick, did you? You guys went with the right house kick. Now comes the right house kick. Watch. I got you again. See what I'm saying? Now right house kick. I'll do it again. I did it twice on the other side. Okay. That was MMA. Moving on to kickboxing. However you're standing, if you're a multi fighter, maybe here. Okay. I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do the multi stance first. Multi stance. Scout, spread off kick. Okay. Scout, spin kick. Other side. Jabs, spin kicks. Aha. Jabs, run out kick. Okay. Now. Fixing the camera a little bit, guys. There we go. So that was Muay Thai. Right? Go to the other side. Go to the other side as well, right? Again, other side, just in case whatever thing I did first. I've been training for three hours already today, guys. Okay, now, Taekwondo. You want to do the same thing, but you're going to stand sideways, of course. Whether you throw it, bending your knee, and then extending or straight, it's up to you. The only difference with Taekwondo is you're not going to do the jab. In fighting stance, you just throw the kick. The right house kick. Bio! Other side. Bye! Bio! Same will apply for karate. Almost the same only karate, they are allowed to punch. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it was logical to you guys. These are some of my secrets that I don't normally give away. But, uh, you know, what am I gonna do? Hold on to them forever. Uh, I always train when I go right on kick all the way around. I always mix it up with wheel kick all the way around. That's just uh, the way I train. Works good for me. I work out the muscles in all directions. Never forget to stretch right behind me. And uh, I I'm, I'm burned out with this. I already did an hour of kicking, hour of weightlifting, hour of stretching. I wasn't even going to do this video right now, but I felt so good that I figured, you know what? I'm going to finish my workout kicking this way. This was my last set now. 
for you guys. And this is how I like to do my last sets because I'm close to failure, I'm close to exhaustion. And look at how good I fucking kick. There's no excuse.